Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on Life Tree Music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, coming again, you're very, very welcome today. I trust you enjoyed my last video on George Benson and through his song on Broadway. I just talked about memories and particularly one of mine when I was walking on Broadway to see a show and just that how magical that night was and just how awesome memories are. So I trust you found that one encouraging. Well, we're going on to a guy that was born in 1940 in South Tyrol in what was then the Kingdom of Italy. Uh, and he, this guy is considered the far, father of disco, uh, sound engineering, production, and um, electronic music. This guy's an absolute whiz and has been involved in so many things over the years. It's, it's you, you lose track. And this is well and truly what I, what I did today with Georgie Amarota. Just lost track of all the things this guy's been involved in, and we could be here forever look, talking about this. But we'll look at look at him, look at him anyway. He learned to play guitar around the age of 15 and uh, after that, a little bit of a while, he actually got into sound engineering and um, surprised to me, he was involved in the founding of Musicland Studios in Germany and uh, that was where the Elated Light Orchestra did some of their biggest albums. In fact, I think all of their albums were done there and so, you know, absolute um, uh, huge production numbers right there. Um, he he started, uh, Giorgio started with Lucky Lucky in 1969, so I, I'll, I'll leave you to look, look that one up if you, if you like. But it was, it was soon discovered this guy was a bit more than just a singer, he could do everything, he could do production, he could do songwriting, he collaborates, and of course there's electronic music going on, on as well. So it wasn't long before um, he uh, started to get involved with some other things. Including in 1977, from here to eternity, this was a bit, just a bit of a bit of a track for him, uh, and I've got a live version of that one a little bit later in his career. Um, one of the songs that really noticed got him noticed was "I For Love." This is a Donna Summer summer classic in 1977. This one was written with Paul Bellot and came off her album "I Remember Yesterday." Now, when I did Donna Summer a little while back, now I put this clip in there because this. When you've got the father of disco and the queen of disco in the same room, absolutely, absolute magic happens. And so, um, the he well and Giorgio well and truly got noticed that he was an incredible songwriter and producer. And because of that, um, he then went on to do a few things more, including um, later American Gigolo. Because one of the things that uh, Giorgio has done is written a number of music movie soundtracks. And uh, off American Gigolo, of course, we've got one of Blondie's signature tunes, Call Me. Um, and it was co-written by Debbie Harry with Giorgio Moroder. And so what I've got there is I've got a, I've got just a, a film clip a version of that particular song, an ab absolutely stunning song from Giorgio Moroder. And then we get on to one of Giorgio's signature tunes, The Chase, from the movie Midnight Express. Um, this movie was all about smuggling stuff across borders, so Midnight Express was just a classic name uh, for this particular movie. And the minute you hear this song, you think, oh, I didn't realise it was this guy that actually this is, did this one. Well, here we have a live version, and uh, there's a lot of people on stage with him here, which is pretty, pretty cool to know that uh, you, know, you can do your stuff live if you have having new poor people on stage. Of course, electronic music is really what George Yamarada is into, but you need other things in there as well. So it was around about this time that he was getting extremely influential and all sorts of people were working with this guy, including pop princess Kylie Minogue. A couple of uh, big collaborations in 1983, first of all with David Bowie, uh, and from the movie Cat People, and one of David's um, um, sort of signature tunes, Putting Out Fire of Gasoline. This one was written by Georgie e. Moroda. And so what we've got here, we've got a live version of David Bowie singing that one, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Rest in peace, David, that is for sure. And then also in 1983, out came this little movie, Flash Dance, What a Feeling. Now, I remember when this song came out. This stayed on the stop of the charts in Adelaide for at least 12 months, if not more. And it was all about... Uh, the welding girl who became a dancer and of course Irene Cara 
rest in peace Irene as well uh, brought this song to life and uh, the world absolutely just took notice of this song because it was as I said extremely successful song that one then out in 1984, uh, Electric Dreams came out. Now, I've covered this uh, movie in a previous video. All I can say is something quite prophetic about this uh, movie. A computer, a guy and a girl and a love triangle. Well, we've now got four in a relationship. <laughs> two people, two phones. So quite prophetic, that one. And uh, this, obviously, Electric Dreams and very much computers were really only taking off at this point, actually. It's hard to believe that we've got more power in our phones than we do in, in computers back in those days. And it, it needed someone with electronic genius to come in and actually bring that soundtrack to life. And Giorgio Moroder was just the guy for that one. And Jeff Lynn from ELO also got a song in there as well. And so what we've got, we've got a couple of songs from that movie. We've got... Um, the official clip, of course, for Loki from Human League um, was also a collaborator there of uh, Together in Electric Dreams. And we've also got The Jewel, which is an incredible little um, bit of the movie where the love interest playing cello uh, does a duet with uh, with a computer. So pretty amazing soundtrack right there. There's a really touching scene a little bit further on in the movie where the computer kind of expresses something for her. And she runs out of the boom, moving, out of the building, scared. But the jewel, pretty, pretty cool. And then we go to one of the biggest movies of the 1980s. Um, and, you know, Tom Cruise, tight pants, fast planes, women, all the rest of it, Top Gun, uh, took the world by storm, storm in 1986. And the, and the song Take My Breath Away, which, of course, was a Berlin signature tune, um... Terry Nunn, of course, being the lead singer there. Um, Take My Breath Away was an amazing song for uh, Georgia Moroda and one of these songs of the 1980s or one of the ballads of the 1980s, absolutely. And there was, there was and so we've got a live version of Berlin singing that one, which is pretty, pretty amazing. How amazing is Terry Nunn's voice? Um, and so um, during his career, Georgia Moroda's won three Academy Awards for... Golden Globe Awards, four Grammy Awards, and he's received the Order of Merit in Italy, and he was inducted into the Dance Music Hall of Fame in 2004. Giorgio Morata is an absolute legend of the music industry, collaborator, producer, songwriter. Of course, you need these guys behind the scenes who are always pushing the envelope of music and what it can do. And of course, the thing I think to bring out about any songwriter, particularly when they are doing movies, is that music is is in the realms of the heart, not the brain. Obviously, you need a little bit of brain to actually write and sing music, but it's the heart that actually brings it to life. And, of course, when we have a very intellectual movie, um, uh, for instance, uh, yeah, any intellectual movie out there, it's going to need something to connect with the audience emotions, and that's where music comes in. Of course... When we think of Take My Breath Away, a classic example, we're whipped straight back to Tom Cruise and the planes and the girl and all the rest of it. And so, you know, this is the power of music and film, and that is it connects with our emotions. It, it involves all of us. And Giorgio Moroder just knew the song that needed to be written for any particular moment to bring the crowd's emotions along for the emotional ride that is movies certainly back in the 1980s and moving forward as well. So um, it's wonderful to know that uh, music is a heart thing, it's not a head thing. And I think if you play music, it's the, it's the connection with your heart that will actually bring the music even more to life um, than, than just the head does. So good on you, Giorgio and Moroda, for bringing such iconic songs to the world. So the links to all of those songs, I think there might be nine. There's quite a few today. I could have put so many more in for Giorgio Moroda today. We could have had 20 without any trouble. But I think I've gone for his most memorable and iconic songs in the list below. And I've also included my last video from George Benson. So if you want to recap on him, feel free. Well, um... If you've come back for another one or this is your first time, the Life Reflections through music, please note we go to all sorts of people and genres here, uh, you know, and we don't react, we reflect here, absolutely. 
So I thank you for everyone for coming back and or coming for the first time. We trust you've been encouraged in your own emotional journey uh, today. Well, that's it for today. Next time we're going to go on to Adelaide Bourne, but a little bit of uh, success internationally, Germain. So until then, I'll catch you around. Catch you around. Bye for now.